Thank you all for the 100 subscribers. We hit 100 Yay. subscribers. Thank Yay. You. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And uh, we want you to know that uh, this is a, an educational platform where we teach and we just guide you on common hormonal problem that you could have and how to treat or how to identify early and how to prevent them. So uh, if, uh, if you have friends or loved ones who haven't heard about this platform, please kindly share, so tell them to subscribe and put on the, uh, uh, the button alarm to remind them about this uh, platform. Remember, we are here to, to, to just guide, okay? The more you know, the better you are. So today we want to talk about one kind one common cause of hypothyroidism which is graves disease we have talked about hypothyroidism last week and uh, if you haven't watched it please kindly watch what is overactive thyroid it talks we dealt more in detail about it today we just want to focus on the graves disease why is this important to know and how do you identify it what exactly is graves disease we want to know today so Dr. Hope is here. She's going to help us again to give us little information you need to know about Graves disease. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you. Okay. So what is Graves disease? So Graves disease is an autoimmune disorder where the body is actually attacking itself. Specifically, the body is attacking its thyroid uh, gland. And there are certain risk factors that put you at higher risk of actually developing this. So family history is number one. Again, if there's a family history of uh, this autoimmune disorder, you are at a higher risk of developing it. Sex. So women are more likely to get graves than men, age less than 40, uh, younger people, having other autoimmune disorders like type one diabetes and rheumatoid arthritis, emotional and physical stress puts you at higher risk of developing uh, Graves' disease as well. Uh, pregnancy, also uh, smoking. So people who smoke are at higher risk of getting this disease. So what are some of the uh, factors that are modifiable, the smoking is modifiable and decreasing your stress level uh, is also modifiable. So that can help uh, prevent your development of Graves' disease once these factors are modified. So why is this important to know? Why do we have to know about Graves' disease? Yeah, so Graves' disease is important to know because many of the symptoms of Graves' disease can be seen in other disorders and you may not even know that you actually have it. So if you know early, then you can actually treat it early. Um, so what are some of the signs and symptoms that actually are unique to Graves? One is the bulging of the eyes. So when your eyes are protruding out, um, it can be a sign that you have Graves disease. Swelling around the eyes is another sign. Um, the neck, having a neck enlargement or uh, which is basically due to your thyroid being enlarged is a sign of Graves' disease. Having thick thickening around the lower leg um, is also a sign of Graves' disease. So those are some of the um, factors that can be seen. And Graves' disease, like we said, can be life-threatening. So it's important to identify it and treat it early so that it wouldn't get to the point where it is life-threatening. Um, what are some of the treatments for Graves' disease? So some of the treatments are medications, methimazole and PTU, uh, radioactive iodine. So radioactive iodine treatment involves taking a pill, uh, which is really a form of radiation that goes directly to the thyroid, uh, specifically uh, avoiding other parts of the body. And that takes a while to have an effect, about three to six months. So you have to take medications while it's working. And finally, surgery. Surgery is the last resort for treatment of Graves' disease. You've said it all. And uh, just to add to it, if you notice that you have these symptoms or the signs and people have been telling you about your eyes or your neck, you should go to your doctor, get your blood work done because there are specific blood work that we do 
to identify that you have autoimmune disease for specific for thyroid and when they check it and if it's positive and it's present in high level low level however it is your doctor will interpret it for you and tell you what to do so second point for today before we go is identify your symptoms don't ignore those symptoms get checked ask your doctor for blood work so they can confirm that you truly have it or you don't have it and if you have it it's not the end of it it can be treated it is treatable and you can live your life in a good way and live your your healthy life so remember the more you know the healthier you know the better you are for now we'll stop you here thank you for today thank you for joining us